Hey, Clash of Clanners, this is Viper here, and today we're going to be looking at drawing the Clan Castle troops completely away from the defenses. This is the second video of a three video series. In the first video, we looked at how to draw out the Clan Castle troops completely so that all of them are pulled out, and today we're going to be looking at what do you do with them once they're pulled out? Well, you're going to be drawing them away from the defense. So let's get started. Okay, this first video that we're going to look at. Uh, is going to look at attack that we had in our clan wars and you can see right here right here is the clan castle and if you did some recon work which this person did before they attacked them they had 20 people in the clan castle and right here this pump right here I can't I can't tap it because it's uh, showing a replay this first pump right here on the right uh, is just out of the range of the clan castle this second pump right here is right where the person wants to drop a troop right in between these the mine and the pump in order to draw the clan castle troops out so he attempts in the beginning he drops a minion but the minion falls back a little bit so it doesn't trip like he thought he drops a barbarian next and after he drops the barbarian it's coming there it is now after he does that he actually does two things he trips the clan castle dragon it was 20 in there, so that's full 20, 20 uh, clan castle troops. That's the only thing he's got in the clan castle. And he's also tripped this uh, new Halloween coffin that has the uh, skeletons in it. So what he wants to do now, now he's got the things tripped. The very next thing he wants to do is probably come all the way over here where there are all these decorations. You can always spawn on top of a decoration. Don't let them fool you to think that you can't spawn there. Because that is the furthest thing away from the defenses. He probably wants to bring the dragon all the way over here, then surround the dragon and kill it. Well, what happens is, as we watch, he drops a troop right here. The troop gets shot by the cannon. This is a great example of why he drops another troop and he gets shot by the cannon again. So now he's just going to keep losing troops if he keeps dropping them there. He drops a few more arches. Arches are getting shot. So he needs to, eventually he gets tired and just drops the dragon down to kind of take care of it. But you see he's losing all these troops because he's dropping them right in the line of the defense. So once you have the clan castle troops out, you then have to get rid of those clan castle troops. Now, he wasted all of the archers that he brought, all of the wizards that he brought, and all the barbarians that he brought. Now it's going to be mostly a dragon raid, but... Because he destroyed all those things, he doesn't have them for the attack. So you want to try and use as little troops possible. And one of the things you do not want to do is you do not want to fight when you are in the range of the defense. So let's take a look at another video uh, where the person actually, there's two different videos where they pull them, a good job of pulling them away from the defenses. Okay. The second attacker, her name is Percy. I'm going to name her by name because she is excellent at taking out the clan castle troops. So what she does is she drops a barbarian right there. It trips the castle. It's another 20 castle. If you do your recon work, which is very important in clan wars, you know there's only 20 troops in this castle. In this case, it's a dragon. So she drops the barbarian. And then she drops another barbarian. Now notice, sometimes there are some places in the corners they'll have builder's huts or a laboratory or something in the corner. That's a great opportunity to put something, one character, one troop behind it to have that person. Because once it's tripped from the clan castle, we learned in the last video, it'll just go anywhere you put troops. So she puts a troop all the way back here so he has to walk all this way to get to the dragon. Dragon kills it, all right? But she's drawing it further away. So right now, the dragon now is out of the range of any defense. And so the only thing that's going to kill this troop is going to be the dragon. You're going to lose troops trying to get rid of the clan castle troops. But you only want the clan castle troops to be fighting your troops. You don't want to have to fight against the defenses. So she sacrificed the second barbarian. I probably would have dropped the third and then. But she puts a bunch of wizards around. He takes out one wizard. Takes out the second wizard, takes out the third wizard, and then bites it. So, dragon's gone. Now she can start her attack. She used a minimal amount of troops, and she drew the dragon away. Let's take a look at another one. Okay. The second video is another example, and this is where they do have building huts. You notice there's a hut in the corner here, and there's a hut in the corner over here. So, whereas, again, Percy's attack, she had to bring him into a corner that didn't have anything. In this particular attack... 
The first thing he does is draw out the clan castle troops. It's another dragon. And then once he draws it out, he uses right here. He puts a wizard up in this corner. And what that does is it destroys the hut and it draws the dragon all the way out. Then once he's out, he surrounds it with dragon with uh, wizards. Takes out a couple of the of the wizards, and in no time, dragon's dead. So uh, that are those are two good examples of the best way to take out uh, the clan castle troops, drawing them away from the defense. Hey, that's it for now. I hope this video was helpful to you. Stay tuned for the third video where we're going to be looking at uh, the different types of troops and how to kill them off. Until then, Viper out. Clash on!